you're kind of a self-proclaimed and if you go into your youtube channel there's so many good videos on tar choice tar size and it seems to be a mm-hmm. conversation that i had uh, sophia gomez on a couple of weeks ago and she said it's just like every week people are like what tar is you using today what tar is you using today <laughs> yep. what's the considerations when someone because we're kind of getting over in europe and you know i'm aware that we have like even 40 percent of our listeners are us as well so it's coming into gravel season right now we've not started in quite a few places when someone's looking at their event and they're thinking to themselves, okay, what tires should I choose for this event? What considerations are you taking into mind? Yeah, I mean, there's all the typical ones. How much how much road is there? How much gravel is there? How chunky is the gravel? You know, climb, how much climbing? How much descending? Is there single track? All of that. But I'm going to be honest. I think that the industry in general has gravel tire size wrong right now. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be referencing what how how mountain biking and road cycling has come a long way in their tires in the past past few years. You know, 20 years ago, roadies were on what 20 millimeter tires. What 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 were you on when you were racing? I did pro road. A time trial with a 19 on the front and a 21 on the back, and that exactly. was like the idea then. Like you mixed up these tire choices, but 21 to 23 was pretty standard for criteriums. Yeah. And always 140 PSI. Like you didn't even right. question that. Always 140 PSI. Yep. <laughs> so, so now look where the world tour teams are at now. I mean, a lot of them are, a lot of them are on 28s now and they're running what 70 PSI. Um, so it, it's quite, quite a bit different on the mountain bike side. You know, guys used to run 1.9, 2.0 tires. Now, uh, you know, now Nino's, only on 2.4s like that's all he runs so you know tires in both mountain bike and road have just gotten wider and wider and wider and it's because it's faster um and i think that we're just going to see the same thing happen in gravel gravel tires are going to get wider and wider and wider and it's because it's faster and and this isn't that hard to test I, i don't know why more people don't do this all you have to do is go to a section of gravel ride it at a certain power output, switch, you know, switch tires, ride it at the same power output, and then you'll be surprised by how much faster you go when you put the wider tires on. This blows people's mind when I tell them this, but... But these homemade tests are unbelievable. I was getting into time trialing back in the day when I was trying to make my way through cycling, and, you know, I was coming through as a broke student, so I had very little cash. Definitely wind tunnel Mm -hmm. testing. It's not very accessible now. It was a lot less accessible like seven, eight, nine years ago. I just got a bunch of TT helmets from all my friends, went up to the top of an incline, locked myself into position, got a push start for my buddy in helmet A, marked it with chalk down the bottom where I stopped rolling, came back mm-hmm. up, same position, same push, marked it in chalk with helmet B. It's pretty rudimentary, but you can draw some conclusions from that. Like, yeah, I'm not, well, I'm not saying helmet. like I'm not saying this is perfect science by any means. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying if you want if you want to have a rough idea of whether something is faster or slower you know you can test it you don't just have to you don't just have to guess or just look at what the competition is running i think what most people do is they just look at what the competition is running and say okay i'll run the same thing cuz they must be right but so there's so many buckets there you're talking about you know percentage of tarmac versus gravel how how technical it is or in terms of how sharp it is puncture resistance does it need sidewall puncture resistance but does the, do these tire choices then fall into a number of buckets for you that you have two or three go-to tire choices or are you literally playing with 15 or 20 different tire choice options um i have a favorite gravel tire right now that i use for the vast majority of gravel races i won't use it for every single gravel race but my go-to tire is the Specialized Pathfinder Pro, and they just started making it in a 47 millimeter, and that's what I've been running. Uh, it's probably what I'll run for 85% of the gravel races I do this year. And then for some of the other races that maybe have more road, uh, I might run the Challenge Strata Bianchi um, in the 40 millimeter because it's quite a fast tire, but it punctures easy. Um so I, I don't have I don't have 20 different tires I'm choosing from, but I I it's more that I have a, a select few that I really like. And I don't have a tire sponsor, by the way. So so I 
I try a bunch of different tires and I will give you my honest opinion on them. Is there a big advantage to not having a tire sponsor? Yeah, the big advantage is that you can run the best tire. I actually kind of feel bad for certain riders that have certain tire sponsors, to be honest with you, because uh, it, it seems to me that there are some companies that are really nailing it on their mountain bike tire and really dropping the ball on their gravel tire, and then vice versa. There's some companies that are nailing it on the gravel, dropping the ball on the mountain bike. The Lifetime Grand Prix has both mountain bike and gravel, and I, you know, some riders, I just, I just feel bad for them that they have to run these certain tires for certain races. So your Pathfinder, say Pathfinder 44 is your go-to? 47. 40, 47. So you're embracing yeah. this wide already. I, I, I test, I, I test this, I test this and it's faster and that blows people's mind. When you, when you tell them 47, it blows their mind. They're like, there's no way that's faster. There's no way that's faster. Tr try it for yourself. <laughs> if you enjoyed this little clip from the podcast, you can check out full episodes of the podcast on any podcast platform, Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Also, you can click up here for another video that I know you're going to love. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next day.